بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد our conduct and our manners and may Allah help us to to rectify ourselves and have better conduct and manners that are in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah help us all to be better, better servants, to serve our parents better, to have better uh, conduct with one another, to do those things that please Allah subhanahu wa taala, and to be kind and gentle with those who Allah subhanahu wa taala has called us to be kind and gentle towards. And may Allah bless us to hold the, the ties of kinship and to take care of the orphan and the sick and those people who are in need and the poor and the impoverished, to not be arrogant towards them. And may Allah forgive us for our many shortcomings and sins. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam an akthari ma yurkhul nas al-jannah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked about what are those things which most of the people will enter paradise for uh, for them he said taqwa allah wa husn khulq he said it is fearing allah you know having god fearful of fearing the uh, doing the commandments, fulfilling the commandments of Allah and staying away from the muharramat, those things which are prohibited and good manners he mentioned those two things so in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa on the thing that will enter the people into paradise the most he said taqwa Allah wa husna khulq fearing Allah and husna khulq and of course inherent in Fearing Allah is Tawheed. That's a part of Tawheed. You know, that's a part of Ibadah. It's a part of Tawheed al-Ibadah. Or Tawheed al That's included in there. And by having that, those are the things that will enter the people into the paradise the most, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. وَسُؤِلَىٰ أَنْ أَكْثِرِ مَا يُرْخُلَ النَّاسَ النَّارِ قَالَ أَثَّمُ وَفَرَجْ and then the Prophet ﷺ was asked, what will enter the people into the hellfire the most? He said, al-fim, the mouth, and the private parts. This shows us that being cautious with the statements that we make, with backbiting and slander and cursing people, and speaking ill about people and not verifying statements and then spreading it, namima, all of those things uh, are things which are ill conduct, ill speech, and will be held accountable for them. And in addition to that, so the Nabi an akhtari ma yurkhul al nas al nar qala a them wa faraj. Also, the private parts is that by not. safeguarding our private parts then this is also something very serious and very dangerous for the believer that you have to we have to be concerned about zina and fornication and those things as well so the person as the Prophet ﷺ said in another authentic hadith the person who can safeguard their private parts and their mouth that he guarantees in paradise this is also very relevant for us, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and bless us to be of those people who Allah is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.